It is stark, it can be cold, and it is, as far as we know, lifeless. But Mars still fascinates, so much so we intend to pay a visit. However, apart from the raging winds and the lack of oxygen, there is another potential hitch. This is the sound of an earthquake, or more accurately, a Mars quake, a tremor that measured 4.6 on the Richter scale. What's great about this quake was that it was so strong that these surface waves were able to travel the entire planet multiple times. So it basically orbits, orbits and going, you know, around and around for at least three times. Those surface waves help scientists discover information about the planet's interior. For instance, they support the theory that its crust is much thicker than that of the Earth or the Moon. And of course, with so many missions to Mars planned for the future, it doesn't hurt to remember that being forewarned is the same as being forearmed. We can actually plan the correct way to, you know, to actually utilize all of these uh, different possibilities at the same time, um, avoiding the, ha the quake, uh, earthquake hazard. Um, and we actually have quite ha uh, we have a good information where these quakes are happening at the moment. For now, the possibility of a permanent human presence on Mars is just an aspiration. But if we do get there, at least we'll know where to park. Tim Orman, BBC News.